I've had a bit of a passion for fashion my whole life. So going in the van was kind of like, well, how am I going to fit all these accessories? Grew up in a small town. Uh, I love going to the rodeo. People used to ask me what my favorite part of the van was, and I would often say the cassette toilet. So I've always been a vintage collector my whole life. Hi, I'm Goldie. I just went full time in my van a couple months ago, and I'm going to show you around. So this is my kitchen zone. I actually rebuilt my kitchen zone completely after building it once. I started with a much shallower sink and I just had an electroplate. And then I realized how much I love to cook and I decided to pull that out and fit this Camp Chef oven in here. I can bake little pizzas and muffins make my tea and coffee every morning. Down here are all my dishes and cookware. I just installed this little flip up table for extra counter space. So up here I've got cleaning supplies uh, filled to the brim. <laughs> Can't quite get this one to close. Uh, I really needed some extra storage space in here. I actually got all these baskets really cheap for less than 10 bucks each at a Ross. And then I installed washers. I just screwed them right into the wall with a washer to hold it in so nothing uh, moves around when I drive. Got a max air fan up here. I installed more baskets for bookshelves. Before I had the washers on, these fell straight off the wall, so I reinforced it with large washers again. I mean, my name is Goldie and I obviously love gold, so I really wanted um, a gold faucet and sink. And I will say that this brass hammered sink was the biggest splurge on my van. Um, but it was the one thing that I really wanted to invest in because I knew I would love it and it would make a big difference on the aesthetic. Under here, I have a little gray water tank and it's also my shoe and beach blanket storage. My dad came up with this little system to keep it locked because I had installed child safety locks and they, they never opened when I needed them, so I ripped them all off and th this will come flying open every time I drive, so now... I just use a little screw to, to lock it in. So I actually worked in the cannabis industry about 15 years, uh, and I already had a traveling lifestyle. So about four years ago, I got my van and um, slowly built it out as I had the time and money. Over here, I just have a regular dorm fridge. I got it at Home Depot. It is probably my biggest power sucker, but I have 320 watts of solar, so I haven't had an issue yet. Some more baskets. Uh, and I actually, I just built out this side before this trip for a long time. Uh, I've had the van for about four years, but I wasn't full-time traveling until recently. And it used to just be these two blocks next to the fridge here that I would sit on like a bench. Um, I had some leftover, this is just an Ikea countertop slab, um, and I had some leftover from this side, so I just decided to get one more cabinet and throw it up there. Originally, I got a quote for custom cabinetry, which was about $4,000, so I said, no way, went to Ikea, you know, spent a few hundred bucks and got these cabinets and this Formica countertop and just made it work. I just installed this before the trip and now I have room for my Vitamix, all my health food supplements, pantry goods on the bottom. I keep canned goods. Originally, I had canned goods up here and actually there's too much weight up here so the cabinets were bowing. Uh, but, but I reinforced it with a metal bracket back here and then decided to keep the canned goods on the bottom now. I also, so the, ho the home I had that I just moved out of had a huge walk-in pantry with floor to ceiling shelving that I had a mason jar system like this in. So I just installed this before I left as well. And it's just one board from Home Depot. You take the jar lids, three screws each and, uh, you have a mobile pantry. This is one of my favorite parts of the van now because I love to cook. I have these produce baskets I just installed so I can keep lots of fresh, fresh fruits and veggies with me. Up here, I've been keeping my clothing, towels. It's always kind of a mess. That's just part of van life. I try to keep it organized, but you know, it is what it is. Up here, I have 
some more dishes and stuff, some dry goods like cereal. I have Scrabble, I have Othello. I like to get my friends to play games when we're out camping. Um, my pour over coffee maker. I am kind of a coffee snob, so I wanted to, even though this is a little fragile to bring on the road, I just always put it back in its case and, and it works. And my million hats. A makeshift hat rack at, at my house, I had a whole wall that was a hat wall. So for me, I have always been, a, I've had a bit of a passion for fashion my whole life. So going in the van was kind of like, well, how am I going to fit all these accessories? But I, I, you know, I managed to make it work. Also, being a van lifer, you don't get to wash your hair every day. So it's nice to have some hats around. <laughs> So I've always been a vintage collector my whole life. Uh, when I was in my early 20s, I was a buyer at Buffalo Exchange, which is a clothing resale shop. Um, and I've just always loved to express myself th through style. I don't really stick to any one style. I like to change it up a lot. And in the van, that, that was kind of a concern of how am I going to fit all my hats and my boots? Grew up in a small town. Uh, I love going to the rodeo and I definitely um, have a bit of a cowgirl aesthetic with my style. <laughs> so this is my bed. Um, I have a full size memory foam mattress. Uh, when I did the build out, I realized that I could get three three or four extra inches if I left this inlet, which three or four extra inches makes a big difference. I'm only 5'3", so I can fit this way, no problem, but the, the extra headboard space helps a lot. Up here, I keep stuff like my journals and sketchbooks, um, and up here is more clothing. I've got everything in these um, compression travel bags because it really helps save space. I must have 50 pairs of socks with me because you can't always find a laundry <laughs> when you're traveling. <laughs> Under here I actually keep a little lap desk and I like to have this tray because I often like to make tea or have little snacks and I like to have a flat surface to set it on in bed. I installed this little ledge which is really nice. I'll set my computer up here to watch movies at night, uh, watch Star Trek. So up here I have actually a really cool antique mirror that I've had for like 20 years. And under the bed is basically my garage zone. I have a ton of storage. I have a 20 gallon water tank. I have a stand up paddle board and now Starlink, which is which is taking up some big real estate. <laughs> I've really got to find how I'm going to store that. I installed this sunroof which gives me really nice airflow from my max fan. It also provides light. Um, I was considering cutting a window in the slider door and I decided to go this route instead and I'm super stoked on it. I love the sunroof. It allows me to stargaze and moon gaze when I'm camping. I also just have a cassette toilet down here. Um, I really just use it to go number one. Uh, I've never had an issue in my four years of traveling in the van though, um, but it is really nice to have so I don't have to use gas station bathrooms or be in a situation where I don't have a bathroom. If you want to follow me on any of my travels, you can find me on Instagram at invest in gold, just the letter N, invest in gold. Thanks so much, Tiny Home Tours, for checking out my space. I'll see you guys on the road.